first of all, I want to just thank all of you for responding and coming out as concerned citizens to this picket this morning. As you all know, this was a solemn occasion, a somber occasion. That is why it was a silent picket. We spoke through our placards and our slogans. We also spoke through a letter which we delivered to the Attorney General this morning. Basically outlining that the country right now, and particularly our customs officers, some of who were here this morning, and law enforcement, we are living in fear. The country is rocked by fear. And we strongly are suggesting, recommending, requesting of the Attorney General Yes, that yes. we need outside assistance yes. Yes. to help us to solve yes. this crime. Yes. 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 Amen. So the letter details our request um, asking for either Scotland Yard in England, yes. the Royal FBI in Mountain yes. 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 in Canada, yes. or the yes. FBI in the US. Yes. 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 yes, one of the reasons why yes. we said this was not a political event is because we feel it is a national event. Yes, 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 that yes. All across the spectrum, red, blue, orange, green, everybody. Yes, we want the police to get as much assistance as possible to solve this crime. Yes. We're not questioning the competence of the police. Yes, they do. <laughs> well, <laughs> we understand. We're not questioning their competence. What we're saying is that these outside agencies have the expertise, the forensic capabilities, the interviewing skills, the detective skills, the professionalism, and the distance to solve this without any cover up. That's right. All right? So, uh, Mary John and I are now going to deliver copies of the letter which we gave to Honorable Sevoy Benjamin to the Prime Minister, uh, to the Commissioner of Police, Mr. Adley Rodney, and uh, a copy is going as well to the Junior Minister in Legal Affairs. Honorable Maria Bird Brown. Oh, so okay. between those four, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. between those four yeah, yeah, yeah. persons, we are saying the onus is on you because we we know we know that the decision is a cabinet decision. It has to go from government to government through foreign affairs. It is not. It is not. Yes, we're going to put the letter. Uh, make this letter available in the media. Uh, it is not a request from the police force per se. The minister has the responsibility. Mm -hmm. The onus is on him mm -hmm. to make the request of Scotland Yard or the Canadian Law. Mm -hmm. And so that is what we are asking. And we will wait maybe a week. What do y'all say? A week, a week and a half? Yeah. Week, one week. If one we get week. no response, one week. we one will week. be back here. Yes. One week. We will be back one here. Week. One of the things that I noticed this morning in the interview with the commissioner, he said he was open to regional assistance. Yes. But we are saying we want international assistance. Okay. And I want to commend the mother of Dave Anthony. Yes. He too was murdered yes, in his home in Potters. But to know this year or this year, March. Bullets riddled his body. I also want to single out the family of Trey Griffith. That is another murder that is. This young man has been missing for two years. Two years. And so we are saying, and the oh, police vendors, need one help. Vendors, one, two. The, the vendors as well, there's one in the missing vendors, vendors as well. We are saying the police need help. Name. The police need help. I, I also want to commend the uncle of Nigel Christian, Roy, Tyrone. 
is here with us. As you know, the family, they had to go down to bands because the inquest was supposed to be this morning, but we understand that there were some problems with that. Always. But I've spoken to Pandesi Solomon, the mother of Nigel, and she's very appreciative of what we are doing. So give yourselves a round of applause. And I appreciate it too. While I was here, I want justice. Uh, Tyrone was able to connect us to one of Nigel's sisters, which one? Wendy, Wendy. Wendy. and Carla. And Carla, Carla in New York, and she saw y'all. They cried when they saw oh the pictures. Wow. And they're very happy, and they're with us in asking for international assistance. That's the bottom line. Yes. I agree. That is the bottom I line. You want. International assistance. I agree. Nothing less. I agree. And also, we want. Yes, dear. That's a consideration. Thank you, sir. So, thank you. We will include the Governor General as well. All right, so I want to say we're going to wait a few days, a week and a half. Let wait, you know. no, one one way. Way. Because one they will come to discuss it as cabinet. One one way. And if they do not, one 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 call an emergency one one if they did not respond to us in a favorable time, we will come back here and we will put the notice no more. Yes. Okay? I want you to understand one thing. We have been hearing a lot in the media about this crime not being connected to Colonel Benjamin in October. <laughs> okay? We are saying, we are saying, who will be next? No, you never know. No, there was an attempted no. murder of Colonel Benjamin yes. in October. Yes. Um, the, the hitmen, the thugs were able to get Nigel, Christian, this guy. Yes. Who is next on Who's their next? list? Who's the mother going to cry next for a child? Okay. Whose mother is going to cry next for a child? Who's going to cry for a Okay. And so we want to make sure that this stops right in its tracks. Right in its tracks. Okay. This crime has been too brazen, yes. too brutal. Yes. When you have in a peaceful, idyllic country like Antigua Barbuda, in broad daylight, somebody abduct a young man and kill him. Take him out of his home and execute him. Just kill him. And execute him. Gruesomely murdered. Use the word. We need help with this one. All right. So please, thanks again. Um, I'm going to just ask uh, Patricia Tully. Patricia Tully, can you just come and give us the closing prayer because we are wrapping up here. Please bow your head and let's pray. Let's pray for the nation. Father, Mother God, mighty I am present, great host of ascended master. Ascended Master Jesus, our elderly African brother who became the Christ. As we have attained this level of consciousness, we thank you for this gathering. We thank you for our consciousness to be here, making this clarion call. And as we make the call, we expect the answer. We ask your divine intervention as we go forth and that we will continue to be vigilant and that you will cover the family with your blood. Give them the grace Give them the comfort they need at this time. And for that, Father, Mother God, we say praise and we give you thanks. And so it is. Amen. 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 Amen.